When I first pitched former Editor-in-Chief Marty Benito, John Coleman, and Bev Becker on this project almost exactly four years ago, November 26, 2012, I went back to the emails just to see. I didn't envision that it would become what it has. At the time, I really thought it was going to be a very small book, maybe 200 pages, three or 400 photographs, something that we would do in three or four months and then kind of move on. But let, let loose in the Stars archive during the winter and spring 2013, my aspirations for this series really grew. I fell in love with the project, and with it, really the city of Windsor. Like many people, uh, I've had a love-hate relationship with Windsor uh, over the years. But learning about the city's history through Windsor Stars photographs and the writers, it helped me realize how lucky I am to be here. We have a rich and distinct, we have as rich and distinct history as anywhere else in the country, and I'm very proud uh, to be part of it. We're here at the book launch for From the Vault 2, and it is the sequel to From the Vault, which went up to 1950. From the Vault 2 goes from 1950 to 1980. And we're having the official launch party at the Windsor Star, so we're in the newsroom here. The uh, celebration is happening downstairs in the Windsor Star News Cafe. I'm really excited. There's a bunch of people who have shown up, and that means a bunch of people are interested in Windsor history. One of the things I like uh, about this one compared to last year is the photography. So in my opinion, a lot of photojournalism actually improves over time. It had a lot to do with technology and the limitations of their equipment back then, but also it had to do with just getting uh, it into their head that they can be mobile and they can start being creative with photography and you can actually see the photography evolve from the beginning of the book which is 1950 to 1980 in my opinion it generally gets better from a creative standpoint but all of it's cool from a historic standpoint I, I think they absolutely need to come by a second one if you have the first one. And that's because the story doesn't end in Windsor in 1950. It's only getting going. So this one takes up where the story ended off last time and it brings it up to 1950. It's a more modern approach, a more modern look. And in fact, I think more people will be able to relate to this one because it is uh, a more modern time.